There should be one chickadee box just over there somewhere. We'll go find them later. And then we'll go down our trail and right along the edge, we'll, we should find a whole collection of boxes right on the water's edge. This group of volunteers is brought together by the Burnaby Lake Park Association, a group of people committed to caring for their local park. Today, they're servicing nest boxes around the lake, boxes that are necessary to some birds' survival because of the way they nest. Oh, is it, hang on, what was the bit of green there? Oh, That's it? poop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wood ducks, they are a tree cavity nester, so they're looking for holes inside trees to actually put their particular nest in. Now, unfortunately, holes inside trees tend to be in slightly dead kind of trees, and we often cut those ones down which, you know, safety for humans, nice things for the ducks, what are we gonna do here? It was a problem that was relatively easy to solve. Over the last four decades, volunteers have installed more than 200 nest boxes around the lake. Okay. Yeah. That's good enough. The wealth of bird life at Water's Edge is proof that their efforts are paying off. We now have the largest population of wood ducks in the province. If it weren't for the nest boxes, you wouldn't have any of them. Uh, oh, you may get the occasional pair or so, but that's it. Whereas now, on a regular basis, we get anywhere from 40 to 60 uh, wood ducks, and uh, that's pretty good. The nest box program is also about information. Volunteers make detailed notes about what they find. It's a twig, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five membranes. Five membranes? Yeah. If the box is totally full of whole eggs, then it's possible that, that mum got um, in trouble. Maybe she abandoned the nest, maybe she got killed. If the box is half and half, half membranes, half eggs, it's possible that the first little group uh, got ready, hatched and left, and the other ones were just too late. Joe Sadowski has been enjoying bird life on the lake for more than 40 years. Volunteering is his way of giving back. Well, the basic reason that I volunteer is because uh, uh, this is an area of great interest to me, and it's a need. Hired people are not about to be doing this. It doesn't happen with the way budgets are nowadays. So. Uh, the volunteer route uh, is the only way. It should be 131. 131, okay. It's a lot of fun actually because it's, it's just really nice to be able to come down and find out what's going on in the, in the, in the park, which is, I live just on the other side of the park, and uh, just to, um, to sort of sense if we can actually help the wildlife here too, which is really nice. Coming in and, and helping out and giving back into our community is, is an important, um, it's meaningful to me. Burnaby Lake features a year-round population of birds. Everything from the common Canada goose and mallard to lesser seen species like the wood duck or buffalo heads. And there's even an eagle's nest to keep an eye on across the lake. Oh, it's great birding territory. I mean, there's got all this wonderful natural habitat around here. You've got the trees and you've got this long lake on it. I've watched people come here on a very regular basis and use the benches that are out on the walkway or on the uh, uh, observation deck, just absorbing the surroundings, the, the bird sounds and uh, watching the activity and never two days or two hours that things remain the same. The Nest Box program happens every year between January and March. Any and all help is welcome. Burnaby Lake Park Association volunteers love to pass along their knowledge and have some extra help getting the boxes ready for another season of successful nesting.